Hello and welcome to Morning Vibes with Dr. Jared the First, episode 300. It's Wednesday, the 11th day of July, 2018. And my names are Dr. Jared the First Oguzi. Today I want to tell you something very important. And that is six practical ways to be present. There are a lot of amazing benefits to being more present and mindful. But one of my favorites is this. You are not missing the beauty and joy of the present moment. Being present also helps you to see when you are feeling fear or resistance, uncertainty or the urge to procrastinate, anger or resentment, and then to work with those difficulties mindfully. That's all great. But how do you remember to practice being present? It's so easy to get caught up in our thoughts and distractions and forget to practice. The honest truth is that no one is perfect at this. Me, least of all, is a continual learning process, not something you figure out and then you are good. It's messy and beautiful. So with that in mind, here are some practical ways to practice being present. 1. A small regular practice. From the simple habit of meditating for just 2 minutes a day to start with, after you wake up, simply sit comfortably and try to focus on your breath for two minutes. When, not if, your mind wanders, just notice it and label it thinking, and then gently return to the breath without harshness. Set a timer, and when the timer goes off, you are done. If you feel like expanding by a minute every week or so, feel free to do so, but you don't have to expand. The benefit of this regular practice is that when you learn skills you can take and practice in other parts of the day. 2. Work with others. Having a regular group or partner to meditate with is helpful. You support each other continuing to practice and can talk about struggles and things you are learning. If you don't have a practice group in your area, you could find people online to talk to regularly about practicing. 3. Have mindfulness bells. You could have a chime regularly sound off on your phone or computer, numerous apps do this, to remind you to pause and be mindful of what is going on right now where you are. I've also found it useful to see other things as mindfulness bells. See my child's face, a traffic light, hearing an alert from an appliance or the computer. Each of these can be a reminder to be present when I notice them. 4. Set an intention before an activity. If you're about to do a work task, process email, read a book, cook dinner, you can pause just before starting and think for a second about what your intention for that activity might be. What are you hoping to do with this activity? For me, I might cook dinner out of love for my family or myself. I might write a blog post like this one out of love for my readers. I might do a workout out of love for myself and to set exam a good example for my kid. I process email out of responsibility and consideration for those trying to communicate with me. By setting an intention, it reminds you to be mindful of that intention as you do any activity. 5. Reflect daily. At the end of each day or at the beginning, take a minute to journal or just reflect on how your day has gone. How have you done with practicing being present? What have you struggled with? Have you been using your mindfulness bells and setting intentions? What resistance has come up for you? What stories are you telling yourself about all of this? Daily reflection is one of the most useful habits for continuing to practice and getting better at practicing. 6. See everything as a teacher. This method admittedly sounds a bit corny, but it's actually amazing. When you're feeling frustrated with someone, feeling stressed out by work, feeling upset or grieving about the health of a loved one, feeling anxious about a national election, pause and see this person or a situation as a teacher. What can you learn from them about being present? What attachments can you see in yourself that are causing this difficulty? What stories are you forming that are causing you to feel this way? What can you practice letting go of? What can you appreciate about this moment that you're taking for granted? In this way, 
every difficulty, every person, everything that arises in the present moment can be a loving teacher that is helping us along the path to being present. If you put this into, into use, you will definitely be always present in the moment. Until I come your way again, this is Morning Vibes with Dr. Jerry the First. This program is powered by Top Top Media and Communication Nigeria. All rights reserved. Thank you for listening to this broadcast today. It would please us to no end if you continue to visit our podcast. And so to be able to do that, kindly click on the red subscribe button towards your right to subscribe to our channel. In the same vein, also click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you can always receive the notification for any new podcast we upload. Also give us a thumb up to like this podcast. These help us to grow. And do help us share the podcast to your friends in the different social media sites you belong to. Click on the share tab just below the podcast and share directly from there. The full text of this podcast is on our blog. And would you want to read it, kindly visit the blog. We have a Facebook page where we also post our podcast on a daily basis. If you're on Facebook, kindly like our Facebook page. The links to our blog and our Facebook page are in the description box right below. Thank you for your attention. Do have a very nice day.